Hello and welcome again to my YouTube channel. Um, if you like the previous videos and you like this one, click the subscribe button, it really, really helps me out. And a quick word on that, I've had half a million views and almost two million minutes worth of videos viewed this month, which is incredible. So thanks very much for supporting me. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Discs. What discs do I use? Why do I use them? What ones should you use and what ones shouldn't you use? Watch the rest of the video and hopefully you'll learn. I use this disc here, which is called a Trimtech Titan Titanium Open Slot with LX and Rimcot, which sounds stupidly complicated. So what does that mean and should you be using it? Why do I use it? First up, we'll talk about the different discs that they are. This disc here is the most common one used by farmers, probably because it's cheapest and definitely because it's the least aggressive. Um, it's made of steel but it's coated in copper to stop it rusting and it kind of acts like little stones so it kind of works like sandpaper and um, there was lots and lots of debate and people still say that these cause excess heat in the foot which is bad for the cow but it's been completely disproven that these actually cause um, heat through friction. They do warm the foot up very very slightly but not enough to cause any damage or any sort of consequence in any way. It is a great disc because it's very very um, non-aggressive but if you want to get through cows and you want to do a super neat job and do more work with the actual grinder itself then it's not a disc for you and um, some people actually put them back to back so they put them like that so that you can use the back and the front of the disc they're about 30 quid the next the next one is this disc here and um, it's actually one of the less aggressive discs although it's got um the, the little inserts are referred to as knives, so blades of knives. It's actually got six inserts, this disc, and a lot of people would think, because it's got six inserts, then it's more aggressive, but actually it's the opposite that's true. If you look at all of the little bases between the blades, because there's a smaller space, it means as you push down with the blade, the blade's rotating at approximately 9,000 RPM, so 9,000 revs per minute. And because you're pushing down and there's a smaller gap between the blades because there are more blades it means there's less of a time for that blade to dig in and cut the hoof so it actually takes smaller amounts of horn away and also it's one blade wide the cutting circle if you like so it's only taken a very narrow band of horn away so this is much less aggressive and they do tend to blunt really quickly for some reason and they cost around 100 pounds so the next one is um, a hog. So a hog disc is one with three blades and a very narrow cutting circle. So this here is a hog by Trimtech. Um, this is more aggressive than the last, but not as aggressive as what I use. Now, it's more aggressive, again, in, contra in contradiction to the last disc we're talking about, because there are only three blades in it. So there is more time for you to push down, so there's a larger gap as you're pushing down into the horn for that blade to actually cut away the horn. So you're going to take much, much bigger chunks of horn away, if you like, than with the other one. Plus it will catch more because of the way that the blades are spread out. So this one here, this the one we're talking about, is um, the Trimtech Hog, and it's a closed slot. So what's the difference between closed and open slot? Well, this here is an open slot. So as you can see, as the name depicts, this is the slot and it's open. So the disc that I use here is the Trimtech Titan Titanium. The Titan means that there are two blades here and it's laid out with three sets of blades. Each blade can be rotated up to up to four times. I actually only rotate them twice because, um, well, sorry, once when I put them in and then I rotate them once again because I use the back and the front edge a lot of the time. The reason I use an open edge one is because it can throw the chips, the horn chips away much, much more aggressively and much more um, fluidly than a closed disc. But if it was closed slot, 
it's less aggressive because you can't cut into the foot with the edge of the trimming blade. What does LX and rim cut mean? So the LX refers to the depth that these blades actually protrude above the cutting surface. So this is the cutting edge, this is the surface. So the LX is an increased depth of these blades sticking up. So you're going to take a much deeper cut into the cow's hoof. The rim cut refers to this chamfer here. So this um, angle, if you like, and how much this corner of the blade actually sticks out and protrudes into the cow's foot. These blades, um, these blades are called XDC. XDC refers to the C refers to a chamfered corner. So the corners actually have been removed at 45 degrees. Um, I like these ones. You can use, have the XDR and the XD. XD is completely square, um, which in my opinion is far too aggressive for anybody. Um, XDR. Um, doesn't tend to get as deep a cut when you're modeling. It's the rounded corner and this is XDC. Now what that means is I can model much much more um, deeply and I can take out sidewall much more um, with more finesse um, because it's cutting at a more acute angle. It does mean it is far far more aggressive. If you don't have a really good fixation of the legs then do not ever order a rim cut disc because you will hurt cows. What's the difference between a titanium and an aluminium disc? Well, about £120. So I used to buy the aluminium version of this and um, what happens is they distort slightly with the heat and they wear because obviously aluminium is a pretty soft alloy. It's aluminium alloy, not pure aluminium. So aluminium alloy is quite soft so I actually um, wears away and distorts. There's little, if you look in here, there are little screw heads and because the aluminium heats up then it's constantly contracting and expanding and those screws become extremely tight and the actual threads of the screws, so the thread of the bolt hole that the screw goes into, distort. So eventually they become um, unusable. Also this edge wears away fairly quickly so after sort of 6,000 cows you're going to need a new blade. So the titanium ones are lighter, they're better balanced and they're much much more durable. They're about twice the price but they're going to last four or five or six times longer. So do I recommend you get this disc or not? If you're a farmer and you're only doing one or two cows here and there then I recommend you get the first disc the copper one, this one here, because you're not going to be as in tune with the feeling of the disc and um, you don't want to over trim them certainly and because you're not doing the numbers the speed isn't going to matter to you as much. If you're a farmer who is doing a lot of routine trimming I would buy the Trimtech Titan closed slot, so the same as this but these slots here are completely closed. That means it will be much more aggressive than the, the first disc that I recommend, but not anything like as aggressive as this one here. Um, and I would go for the titanium because the aluminium ones, the screws are more difficult to get out um, and you don't want to be fussing around with that. And you also don't want to be having to buy a new one. Plus, if they do start to wear here, which they definitely do, they do become dangerous. And us being of the farming, persuasion we're not going to change it when we probably should so buy the titanium one if you're a professional trimmer um personally i recommend this so this as i said again trim tech titan titanium open slot with lx and rim cut but only if your leg fixation is extremely good so that has been um trimming discs what i use why i use it and what i think you guys should use want any more information just ask in the comments I do reply to everybody that um, kind of warrants a reply so if it's a question or something I will reply if it's not a question I'll probably give you a thumbs up and um, thanks again for watching guys much love